What's up, everyone? Rabbit Guinea Pig here with more Minecraft because that's just kind of what I feel like lately. Now, I've been having some issues with my uh, capture situation lately. So I can't really uh, record off of my Xbox anymore. But, through a series of uh, quick Google searches and a program called Horizon and a flash drive, I was able to get my saved data almost completely ported over to the uh, Xenia emulator. I don't, I don't think I figured out how to get the uh, texture pack. No, nope. because I had that one and this one specifically paid for. And I have the files that say it, but I, I don't know where they're supposed to go in, like, the, uh, in the Minecraft file system or whatever. But, I'm going to show you what I mean by mostly. Because, okay, this is my Xbox 360 world that I've been working on for the past several weeks or so. My little building area. This is the same building from that previous uh, video that I did, kind of showing off this and showing off me starting out. And I was down in here. I was down in here. If that looks familiar to anyone, I took out everything in there, and I've been busy on on this lately. So. Here is my finished house, and it took forever to get enough to get enough uh, nether rack to get the roof on there. And oh, I was gonna see. I was gonna tell you why. Like when I move my save data over to the emulator, everything seemed pretty much exactly the same. I thought that it just started me out fresh in the same world in the same seed, but apparently not. Uh, I was back at the original spawn point with, like, nothing but a starter map. And I was like, ah, hell. Uh, okay, this is... This is my house as it is so far. Little kitchen area. What I like to do that I haven't done yet, because I always, I always make, like, a kitchen island in my Minecraft house. It's just something I like to do. I also like to make uh, structures that feel homely while at the same time uh, not traditional. Here's my TV. It's on the black wool channel though so yeah it's a rerun. It's fine. Uh, yeah I decorated it. This is the upstairs is more or less my bedroom. And this is where I keep miscellaneous things. Bed right here. But at least I know now that the uh the chests still have their stuff, so I didn't really lose much in the transfer. Uh let's see, building blocks, stone, all that kind of stuff, wood anything wood, minerals, materials, that kind of thing. I'm gonna have to, oh, I don't want that. I want to, I'm on peaceful mode right now, so I don't even need arrows or anything. Uh, or, yeah, yeah. I'll take this birch and make some sticks out of it. Man, I love the interface. The, uh, you know, this interface in the older legacy editions of Minecraft. Like, the newer one's fine too, but like I said before, this is where all my muscle memory lives. Okay. 
you know what also the uh the game is a little low there we go all right so yeah this is more or less my workshop I don't think I can make like a like a table saw in this version oh well I'm trying to remember what is and isn't in this version because it's not exactly an old 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 version but this is I made sure to get the latest version of the Xbox 360 Minecraft title update on here so that it matches the one on my actual console and this, this is my uh, enchantment area I've done a little bit but I'll probably do a bunch more and up here did I even decide what's up here yet I don't know but if nothing else it's a cool lookout spot And I've been playing peaceful mode lately for the simple fact that I just I just want to like relax. I just want to chill out, you know. Get my stuff back, put it all in its place. torches again like how I have my inventory down here is strictly a uh, muscle memory kind of thing because I've been I've been playing Minecraft since like it was relatively new on the 360 one of these days I'm gonna get my friend because she's the one who all those years ago got me into playing Minecraft in the first place and we've been kind of playing bedrock together a little bit and I thought it would be fun to you know do a video like that where it's just me and her playing I, but I think that we're both dealing with a lot of personal stuff lately that we don't want things like that it's not bad there's nothing bad going on or anything just things that we don't want to accidentally slip up and end up on the internet because it's just it's personal is all it's just personal here's my sheep I love doing that I love making multicolored sheep and they're all happy oh this is so cool though here's my chicken coop but I can't have too many in here apparently because freaking Legacy Edition limits that kind of stuff uh, I'm glad Legacy Edition like stopped when it did though because have you seen the way Bedrock Edition runs on like the Switch like it's barely passable so imagine if they tried to keep updating like the 360 version up until like the caves and the hills DLC updates or whatever. Ugh, this poor old console would explode. I mean on real hardware it barely maintains a stable 30 frames to be, or 60 frames to begin with. I think the Xenia emulator is actually like sort of pushing through that a bit to make it run a bit smoother then again I just I guess it's more of a, a situational thing when did I get chicken wait when did I get chicken I went into the chicken coop but I didn't kill any of them oh well I kind of like my workshop area type thing. I think I'm going to have the brewing stand up top. And 
I've not gone into creative mode in the making of any of this. Which sort of makes it cooler. I like being able to create limitlessly in creative mode. And I'm still working on my uh, RTX creative mode world. I've added some new stuff in there too. The idea behind that world is I want it to be like very expansive and constantly something new happening while you're just exploring and walking around. Tons of, tons of branching paths, caves, indoor, outdoor areas. Like, the goal is to make the world go on for like miles with just cool stuff. So I'm not necessarily, like, some people like to work on, like, just a massive mansion or something, and I like that kind of thing. And, you know, there might end up being one in that world, too. You never know. Just whatever I feel like doing. Anyway, alright, so we're back. We're back in this world. I got the big trees. I'm going to start... I don't know, because it always looks barren whenever I start doing this kind of thing. So I like to take bone mill and regrow the grass, which I'm going to do soon enough. Give me a second while I look at my phone. Just, just email. I should turn that off, but at the same time, sometimes I get an email I actually want to know about. Alright. Uh... Feathers, sticks, I got sticks. Feathers, sticks. <laughs> Even when I try to organize in Minecraft, I'm still kind of unorganized. Because eventually, my routine just ends up running around back and forth between places, gathering materials and doing whatever with them. I need... Mm, I'll take these. Out. Okay. Oh, see what I mean? Because those are, if I have any. They're in the miscellaneous chest here, and uh, I got two strings. Poop. Oh, I forgot I had that. Oh. Redstone. Torches. I hardly ever use redstone for much. I haven't really done very much redstone stuff with Minecraft, but I was using them for one reason, and I'm going to go down here and show you. Got my acacia trees guarding my nether portal. Okay, so like down here... This is another reason I've been in peaceful mode for a while, is because I've been making myself... And I hope, I hope that the redstone torches don't do too much, because this is going to be like a battle area, you know, to like farm for, you know, experience and other things that you get by killing enemies. I hope this is big enough, too. I was thinking of making it fancier, maybe changing the kind of wall and the floor, maybe adding some pillars, 
uh, you know, we won't know until until I switch it back. But this loyalty book. needs to go up here. Yeah, don't you just want to kind of hang out on a balcony and commit some witchcraft? Commit some witchcraft. There's some English for you. It's not the fanciest stuff in the world, but, you know, it is my house, my area, in my say data. Uh, okay, I made sticks. Oh, this is cool, though. I knew you could do this. I knew you could move your save data over. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, wait. Do I have a bow sitting anywhere? I had a bow, but like I said, when I transferred the save data, I just like lost all my stuff. And was put where I believe was the original spawn point. And it made me think, wait. All I did was move over the seed. I think. Everything that I actually did and built would have been gone. Not really, because it'd still be on the Xbox. But, uh, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I need more armor. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Save data. Mm. Hold on a sec. Cause I want to see if my cave works. My battle cave. Yes, yes, yes. You're all very cute. I'm sure I could figure out how to move the uh... Oh look, I'm already hungry how to move the texture packs over because they're they're an equal part of the legacy edition experience you know and, these over. and it's becoming night too and you know what I have plenty so I'm gonna go ahead and there at least I'm protected now and fed and well equipped. So now have a skeleton. Too bad you can't make shields in this version. 
All right. Ooh. I heard something growl. Maybe if I gave it more time. It's cool that something can spawn in there. Because that's like... You know, the redstone torches keep it so that it's not entirely dark. But at the same time, enemies can show up. I got a cute little helmet. Got bones. I want bones. Of course, I don't really need to make like a battle area of that kind because I can just go out where it's dark and just kill some enemies. I need spiders though. I need string. Well, hello there. Am I brave enough to try yet? You know what? Yes, I am. Hold still. Oh, sweet. My first Ender Pearl. It's a little bit tricky to fight them with a controller. It's also kind of weird playing this with an Xbox uh, Series X controller. I mean, it's functionally I exactly the same. And it's like playing this older version of Minecraft with my modern controller. And, you know, to its credit, controllers have kind of been shitty this past generation or so, but this one, this one serves me well, it does, it does what it needs to, it has not fallen apart yet, I haven't noticed any significant joystick drift, I mean, you know, when you're playing a game and you turn the dead zone all the way down to zero, then yeah, maybe a little, but you, you kind of expect that from any controller anyway. Alright, well. <laughs> Got enough to make me a bow now. I got pants too. Stick all the miscellaneous stuff in here. I have a few extra arrows. So I'll just keep a stack with me. And. isn't even full anymore. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh, that map is full. Hold on. Give me that. Yeah. So... I sort of like that that's like all the map you get in the Legacy version. 
I think the Xbox One version like doubled the size, but that was like replaced with the Bedrock version anyway. If you still have the disc for it, I think it works. But Minecraft has always been a download game for me. I don't believe I've ever owned a physical version of it. Except for maybe the 3DS version. And even then, that's a big mate. But... I need to collect more diamonds and stuff. I don't know, Minecraft just feels, to me anyway, like just, you know, a download game. It's always there. I don't have to go digging through discs or cartridges to find it, it's just there. And I have it on so many different things. Like you see, I got the emulator. And I got at least four different versions of Minecraft and emulators alone. It's all mostly for a... Uh, just sort of weighing the pros and cons. The uh, Xbox 360, this specific update, is the one that I like to play single player in. You know? I don't know if there's anything in there worth my time that I haven't already gotten, but, and it sucks, there's, there's like one village, and it's got like two buildings and a beet farm, <laughs> and all the villagers done fucked off in the wilderness somewhere, I can find them, but they're not anywhere near the village, as far as I know, there's no, uh, That and this are like the only pre-made structures on this seed, which kind of sucks, not going to lie. Oh, there might be a jungle temple, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna bust in this place and start some shit. That's what I'm gonna do. As soon as I can remember where the front door was. So it really does seem to be trending a little bit lately. How people are going back to older versions, legacy versions of Minecraft. It's almost becoming like a confessional kind of thing in a way. Like where someone would start playing Minecraft and just talk about their day and what's going on in their life and all that. And I think that's kind of cool. And I think that that's something that... will bring more of a personalized feel to YouTube, the uh, personalized feel that YouTube had originally before everyone started like sterilizing their content. I, I won't say that that feeling is completely gone, but it's it has been missing for a few years now. And that's one of the amazing things about YouTube. And I'm sorry if this is like a rambling topic that I keep coming to, but it's just something I think about a lot lately. Is, uh... 
just, you know, not very long ago when I was, like, much younger. I'm 35 now. I'll be 36 in April, believe it or not. But around my early 20s, uh, YouTube was barely even a thing, and I got into it sometime around the time when I had more accessible, you know, internet. And I started uh, falling in love with, like, John Dron, Cat Icarus. What are you doing? All right. Is it just me or do you lose your hunger faster in this version? Mm -hmm. Yeah, John Tron, Catacris. I didn't get into Game Crumbs till later. Uh, you had the classics. You had Vsauce. If you wanted to learn some sciencey stuff. Peanut Butter Gamer. And all, all those normal boots, guys. Pro Jared. You know. And it was just like a bunch of friends just having fun and making videos. And we can't forget Angry Video Game Nerd. You know, he's not as super hyper famous as he once was. In his, in his day... You know, in the old, old days of YouTube, it was, like, ridiculously refreshing to have, like, real video game content. Like, someone getting in front of a camera and, like, doing skits and stuff and just having fun with it. What's down here? Huh? I need more stuff. Always need more stuff. I don't even know if I want to edit this video at all. I got Sony Vegas an older version. Got it on Steam for like 15 bucks. It was on sale. Gets the job done. Uh, even with a really, really good computer, it still takes a while to render anything, especially, you know, I like to make more long-form videos on here. I'm clearing the way first before I start harvesting. Making sure nothing spawns in behind me while I'm trying to mine. Cause this is a good spot for for iron, definitely. Oh, what was I talking about? Uh, I was talking about the early days of YouTube and how the cool part of it was instead of like having to watch like some show you know, cable TV or whatever, whatever's on, whatever some big boardroom full of executives think is worth putting in front of your eyeballs to make them money, which is not in itself a bad thing, don't, don't <laughs> get the idea that I'm completely anti-consumerism or capitalism or anything like that. But it does get too far. It does go too far. Uh, how come I can't ever find any of the other ones? Shut up, zombie! Yeah, if you hear loud motors, it's because I live in the middle of bumfuck Kentucky. And, you know, we really like our trucks here. Motorcycles, too. And 
and my little house is like right on the road. And you might also hear the fan. It's helping keep the house warm, moving the air. But, what was I getting at? Instead of, uh, instead of just watching a show, you know, you, you, you just watch, like, someone, it was just cool that freaking John What's-His-Name from Arkansas can just make a video, and you can just watch that. And you can just listen to someone talk about games and stuff. And I, I've been coming along, uh, coming across videos lately <laughs> that seem to be in the same vein. I, I, you know, it's ridiculous to see how many videos have been popping up of just like some dude usually roughly about 10 years younger than me because they would always talk about how they played Minecraft a lot as a kid and like I said before I was like in my early to mid 20s when all of this was new but that don't mean that don't make it any less nostalgic to me because that time in my life I, I'm at a weird age right now where you start feeling nostalgic for times you felt nostalgic if that makes any sense like thinking about hooray oh cool can't really use that on the emulator though uh, you know when I started getting nostalgic for like old game systems like Super Nintendo SNES uh, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Sega Genesis. Because, like, you know, that was my childhood. I was a 90s and 2000s kid. You know, I, I got to experience Pokemon when it was, like, brand new. And that, like... <coughs> you know, often hear about people talk about how fucking weird it was. Like, everyone loved Pokemon. But, what the fuck was, even was it? And I mean that with all the respect in the world. Like, it just kind of emerged from Japan one day with a, with a vengeance. Just aggressively existed itself. And I, I remember magazines and stuff popping up saying like, oh, this new Pokemon fad happening, how long will this last, and all that. Um, long enough for it to be cool, and then uncool, and then really, really cool, and then eventually just an accepted part of our daily lives. It was just about the most Japaneseiest Japanese thing to become stupidly popular in America at around that time. I mean, yeah, we had we had things from Japan. Um, all we, we even had anime for quite a while before, like. Uh, Toonami and Dragon Ball Z and all that. Uh, it was like Speed Racer, Astro Boy. I, I'll take the saddle. But I don't even know if I want to like get a horse or not. 
and why not? Because if I get a horse, it's just going to sit there because the world's not big enough. Like, you see the size of the map. It's not big enough for me to, like, want to embark on an epic journey <laughs> on horseback when I can run there in, like, three minutes. <laughs> and 90s kid. I was born in 88. So I'm about as much of a 90s kid as you can legally be, I think. If there was like a metric to judge how much 90s you were. I was born just soon enough to be able to experience like all of it as a kid. And a good chunk of my later childhood was 2000s kid. And sort of a 2000s punk character arc, you know. Started getting into metal music. Started getting into new metal. You know, corn, Limp biscuits, stuff like that. Uh, Lincoln Park. You know how they say, you know, you grow out of these things. Uh, I have Hybrid Theory and Meteora from Lincoln Park in my car. In case I need my emergency fix of breaking the habit. Or closer. Or in the end. You know all those songs. I want to get Minutes to Midnight too. But I haven't found it. Yeah, usually I use uh, my phone with Pandora in the car. Sometimes that's not an option. Or I don't feel like fucking around with my car's... 2012 idea of what it thinks Bluetooth is. Or what it should be. It's not bad. I love it. I love it so much. I love that my car can even do that at all. But I have to tell it. Verbally. Tell my car to play Bluetooth from my phone. And thankfully that's the only real step that I need to do over and over. But it's still like silly. Like nowadays... You know, it would just auto-detect and auto-connect right away, and, you know, usually you'll just be, like, running Spotify or Pandora from your pocket while you're driving. Usually. A uh, two of you? Of course I'm brave enough, especially in, on this. I didn't get your foot enough. Alright, come on. Bring it on. I ain't scared of you. I'm scared of you. Come on now. See, if you don't want me to kill you, you shouldn't have useful, damn near mandatory items. I guess you don't have to go to the, to the, uh, to the end. I've always liked that about Minecraft, too, is like, I, I don't know, technically there's an end to the game if, if you want to play the video game like a video game and have a beginning, middle, and end, then sure. Or you can just, you know, explore, farm, blow shit up at your laser murder every living thing in sight if you so choose. Man, they said Grand Theft Auto was bad when I was growing up. I 
I mean, you don't get to uh, commit vehicular manslaughter in Minecraft, not without mods anyway. But you can still murder indiscriminately. You're not encouraged to, not really. I hear you, spider. Where are you? Uh, I think that that was a pretty decent haul. So I guess I'm playing Minecraft on here for a while. Since this is my designated one, uh, one player game. Buddy! What are you barking about in there, huh? One of these days I'm going to superimpose a picture of our animals on one of these videos. You know what? There. I guess that means I am editing this one. I, I, I just like to make things look presentable. You can kind of tell that I'm experimenting. Buddy, what are you doing? Buddy, hey, what are you doing? Well, this, this is kind of cool, though. <laughs> I'm lucky that my Xbox works still at all. Can't seem to get those indie games running on the emulator. Not because, I don't think it's because the emulator can't. It just has something to do with, like, the licensing, the DRM, and all that shit. And I'm sure there are ways to do it. Xenia is a weird emulator, though. Not really weird, but it requires a little more technical know-how than most emulators. Xenia's got barely any, like, actual options in it. But if you find the config file, this is how you unlock the Xbox arcade games that you put on here. And they're the trial version by default, and I don't understand why they don't just fix that. Yeah, maybe I kind of do, I don't know, but it's kind of weird. Whenever you start getting to emulation for systems that have downloadable content, that's where, that's where the gray area gets a little less gray, I think. No, that can go in food. No, buddy. I, <laughs> I said the magic word, didn't I? Didn't I, buddy? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Let me, let me finish up here. How many of these do I have? I have two of those. One Ender Pearl. Alright, well. Put the chicken in here. Golden Apple. Surprised I only have one so far. Okay. Put the wheat over here. Um, and everything else can go in here in my workshop. Okay. 
this is a little before they added like blast furnaces and the smoker and all that so you still got to deal with these not the biggest deal in the world because you know the more you have the more productive you can be but anyway uh i think that's gonna do it for this video um, thanks for watching, and if you have anything to say about anything that I said, then please do. Give me your thoughts on anything. Let's start some conversations. Like that's, that's one of the cool things about YouTube also is, you know, the interaction between the creators and the watchers. But, I'll see y'all later.